Hello class, uh, welcome back. I'm making a little video for you here, just uh, for today's lesson on your digital portfolio. Now, your digital portfolio is going to be where you post all the work that you do in the exploration of digital media class. And it'll be kind of a place where you can showcase all the things you've done to friends and family and will act as kind of a building block if you continue to uh, take courses with me the uh, interactive digital media program so you'll kind of build on it each year until hopefully at the end of grade 12 you'll have a really robust and interesting uh, digital portfolio so to get started i'm going to show you how to construct your own google site so i want you to go to google.ca and sign in and then go up to the nine square up there in the corner click on it and you're going to go down and you're going to hit this icon right here, which is the sites icon. Now, when I click on it, I'm going to get a slightly different screen than you will, but you'll continue in much the same way that I am. So we're going to click on sites. See this screen right here will be a little different for you, but I'm going to hit create in new sites. And this is the screen that's going to pop up. So basically this is the basic uh, sort of pre-made building block site um, for for Google Sites. And we're going to customize this and add pages, and I'm going to walk you through each step. But the first thing you're want, going to want to do is you're going to want to name your site. So I'm going to name it Ezra R. Um, Digital Portfolio. And I'm just going to add a little dash here because you guys are the last group. So Q4, because I have a whole bunch of these example sites built. So Ezra Reimer or Ezra R Digital Portfolio Q4. I'd probably just leave your first name and then give your last name just as an initial. You don't want to give out too much information, although these sites are actually only accessible within the Hanover School Division. Hit enter. You'll notice that your name of your site pops up right there. Um, and we have some uh, sort of placeholder text here. So we're gonna double click here and we're gonna go, um, welcome to my, uh, we're gonna, to my digital portfolio. Okay, you'll notice that it resizes um, based upon the size of this right here, okay. So welcome to my digital portfolio. This is your landing page. So it's the page that people will first hit when um, entering your site. So we do want to make sure that this is a nice page, but we don't necessarily want to throw a whole bunch of information on it. So one thing you can do to the header, which is this area right here where it has the title and this image, is you can customize it a little bit in order to create a different look based upon each site. So we can go to header type. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to cover and we're going to change our main page to a cover style uh, banner or header just because it's nice to put a big image in the background here um, so that people have something nice to kind of look at when they arrive at your site. So we're going to go to cover, we're going to hit this little back button here and one of the parts of the assignment is changing the image on each of these backgrounds. Now you can use your own images or you can use images that are provided um, or you can find images online as long as you cite them, which means you've got to put in a little text box showing the URL where you took it from. So I'm going to click change image here and what I'm going to, I'm going to select an image for right now. So I'm going to select from the main gallery uh, just something it's often good in your um, in your backgrounds, and they've done it here with these. You want to select something that is fairly neutral with lots of empty space in it, because otherwise it's gonna kind of work against the text. So I actually tend to like sort of blue tony or half tony sort of things. So I'm gonna click this one, and I'm gonna hit select. So now I've got kind of a nice textured photo in the background there, and um, I might eventually, I'll show you my actual one that I kind of built that's a little bit more built out later, but uh, this will be good for now. And this is pretty much it for your main page. And so this is where we're going to leave it for here, but I am going to show you how to now create new pages for your site. So if you go over 
uh, to the side here. These are basically all your tools and your sort of sub palettes. So we have three major palettes. We have insert, pages, and themes. Um, we're going to go to the pages. So you're going to click here on pages. And you'll notice that right now we've got this little home icon and a home page. So that's your landing page. And if you want to add a new page to your portfolio, you just go down here to the plus button and we're going to click on the new page. We're going to name it. So we have an about me. And that's all it's going to be called. We're going to hit done. Uh, we're going to create a new page for um, animation. Done. Um, and my games. Done. And there, I think there was another category as well. You'll have to double check the assignment to get the full list of uh, pages, but this gives you an idea of how to create the basic ones. So one thing I want to do is for these other pages, I want to change the header type back to just banner, make it a little smaller. So go to animation as well, go down header type and banner and about me, header type and banner. So remember when you're working on this assignment, I want you to put a different image in the background of each of these headers so that you kind of get the get some practice changing out images. I'd love it if you uploaded your own images. The more customized this is, the better. The more it kind of reflects your work or your photography or your game design. That's what I really would like. Now, the next thing you can do after you've created a couple of pages is we can start adjusting the themes to be a little bit more your style. So let's go to themes up here on the on the palettes here, click on themes. And there's a couple of different style themes. So right now we're using the simple one. Uh, you can actually change the uh, the uh, style of it right now. So these kind of are the highlight aspects of this. So as you start adding in things, it'll change it. But if we go to Aristotle, for instance, um, it's more of a, it's using like a Helvetica style. It's a little more blocky. You'll notice if I click these buttons, it changes like the um, sort of the separator um, bar underneath there. Go diplomat, changes the color overlay on that background. This is one I kind of like. I don't know. I've always been a fan of yellow on my own personal website. I use a lot of yellow, but you can uh, change it to whatever you want whether you want to go green or neutral, whether you want to go sort of bold. Oh, this one's nice too. Um, however you want to do it, you can kind of customize your theme a little bit. There's not a huge amount of um, different things to do, but you can kind of do it however you want. Uh, this is just your introduction to some basic web design. Okay, last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to le want to learn about inserting things. So we're going to go to the inserting um, palette here and you can see we have four main sort of image or uh, options here in the insert and then we have layouts and then we have a lot of sort of more customizable um, like special JavaScript sort of things at the bottom there. So you are welcome to add those things in um, as you build up your site but for now we're going to keep it pretty basic. One of the things that I like to do is um, just use some basic layouts and start plopping stuff in. So if we go down to layouts here, uh, on your about me page, for instance, we can use this uh, sort of half and half image text layout. If you click on it once, it'll automatically drop it in. Um, now, when you click on a layout, you are able to drag and drop it around. So if I click on this other one here, what I could do is I can click on these little move things and actually move it up. You'll see it pops under there and I can rearrange these. I can also click on the larger layout block here and I can either duplicate it. I can change its background. So I could say, okay, I want it to have like a yellow background to add emphasis because this is an important part or, um, you know, more sort of a grayish background or whatever that happens to be. Um, or for instance, I can put an image in the background and leave it as regular. 
I'm actually going to delete this one. So if you click on this garbage can here, you can delete it. Remember, anytime you see in Google Sites these little dotty things right here, that and your arrow turns into this four directional arrow, that shows that you can move that thing around. I'm going to delete this section. <clears throat> I'm going to go over here and I'm going to upload an image of myself. And this is what I want you to do. So find an image of yourself. We're going to click here. I'm going to upload it and go to my desktop and find a picture of me right there i'm going to uncrop it or i could recrop it but i'm gonna so this right here uncrops it or i can recrop this a little bit um change the size of it um so i'm gonna leave it like this if I wanted to, I could delete it or add more editing options. For instance, I could add some uh, a caption. <laughs> um, so here, um, I put my name, Ezra R, and under here, here is where I'm going to write a short paragraph about myself. So give me some, uh, give me a little bit about what your interests are, what you're hoping to learn in, um, in this course, uh, maybe a little bit about experimenting with online learning. What, just give me a little bit, about a paragraph or so of stuff there. So about me. <clears throat> And we're going to actually be uploading our Prezi later, and I'll post a video of how to do that once they're all turned in. Um, if we go back to Pages, if you click on a different page, you can work on that page. So if I go to Animation, which is going to be our next project after this week, I can go to Insert, and your first project is going to have three different animations. I could look over here for the three, um, the three up image thing with descriptions, and I could actually upload my animations that you're going to make in there and you're going to create this really nice little portfolio once you are done you're going to hit publish you're going to leave that um and you can view my site you'll actually have um hsd only for yours um and then you'll hit publish Your site has been successfully published. You can either hit this view link or this drop down menu and go view published site. Go to your home page. And then I want you to copy. So command C or control C your address of your published home page. And you're going to paste that as a link in the assignment in the Google Classroom. And that's what you're going to turn into me. So when you are all done everything, you're going to copy your live portfolio web URL, and you're going to submit that on the Google Classroom. So that's a basic overview of how to make a, your, the beginning skeleton of your Google site. You're just basically building the structure right now, and we're going to fill it out um, during the rest of the course. So that's it for now. Email me if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to help you out. Bye for now.